Mad Alliance was howling as Joe, aka Mad Joe FC. This is going to be my reaction and review for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode 56. Kick back, chillax. Let's get it. Every single one of these tortured souls has now invaded your being. So they're fighting, or? You're contaminated, and each soul inside you is working with me, working to see your destruction. Okay. I'm supposed yeah, so to they're kind of like your fighting. Your stone has individual wills. Those souls were reduced to mere energy. I'm not surprised you'd find it impossible. I was convinced I'd be driven mad trying to individually sort out the ocean of screaming voices within me. But I had plenty of time to converse with each and every one of them. Unlike you, I listened to what they had to say. Okay. It took time, but I managed to learn the name of every last soul. 536,329. The people you trapped inside of me. Wow. So he's one with all the souls in the stone. Why you? Whoa. Return to the nothing you were born of. Your flask is broken, dwarf. We will destroy you. And that container of yours is the first to go. Let's go. All we have to do is tear through that leather bag you designed to look like. This seems like it's going to be easy. You'll be reduced to dust. <laughs> He's out. And that's it for that body, at least. You picked up the bad habit of condescension in your many years, haven't you, Owen? How is it possible you can live without your skin? Did you honestly believe you're the only one capable of evolving? So. He evolved from that thing in the class to I intend on becoming the perfect being. Be able to form an actual body out of it? That's my guess. Infantry men, keep back! Oh god! That's against the tank! That's against the tank! Holy frick! Holy God! Holy God! This is bad and all, but... That is savage. Did we hit him? He's still coming. That's one of the most savageness things I've ever seen in my life in a show. I don't believe it. The old bastard just took out a tank. Yeah. Ah, there goes the arm. No, Captain Buccaneer! Oh. What's the issue here? 
Your country's leader has returned. Now open the gate, Wani. Please forgive me, Colonel Mustache. But it looks like I'm dying here. That gun's not gonna... That's enough of that. You can't die a heroic death crying like a coward. <laughs> Don't even think for a second you're gonna die a more manly death than I Wow. Am. I've got plenty of fight left in me. He's still up. How ridiculous. Humans always make a point out of being foolishly stubborn. Ah, you got that right. You know, they always get so frantic in the heat of the moment. <laughs> like it's gonna do them any good. But pathetic as it may be, and they sure are, I still prefer to side with the underdog. Go on. Yes? Well, that's incredible news! I just got a phone call that your husband is all right! The Fuhrer is alive! She doesn't know what he is. <laughs> Long time no see, Reed. If you had any sense at all, you would have stayed out of my sight for good. Yeah, my avarice tends to make these decisions for me. And right now, I want your life. Uh-oh. <laughs> he isn't exactly helping fight the good fight, but... Who's this guy? Our backup? Rumor has it that you died a fiery death in a train accident. You look unscathed to me. Let's just say that I have sharp eyes. It only took a moment for me to evaluate a path among the falling rubble. Wow! The rest of it Jeez. Was just a matter of footwork. He's quick. He's quick, quick. You're Ling Yao, right? Hey! I haven't seen you since we hid out in that crummy apartment. It's good to see you, Warrant Officer. It's Lieutenant! <laughs> oh, whatever. I owe you one, so I'll give you a hand. And I've got a score to settle. <laughs> the truth is, we both got a grudge to settle with this self-righteous old bastard. Come on! So work together. Green and Ling. Green Ling. already Let's almost dead. Now, let's see. Not exactly my weapon of choice, but I guess that I'll just have to make do. But piss me off now, old man. for the help really saved my ass i wasn't trying to save your ass i was saving the body of the young lord well it's the same ass your sickening chi is radiating from the prince's body although it did actually help me to locate you so why don't you tell me who this is we're fighting especially since neither of us could leave a scratch on him that's fear king bradley old man <gasps> So now I know what the bastard who took my granddaughter's arm looks like. Uh-oh. This is going to be a fight. 
witness. The main takeaway for me for this episode, you guys should know exactly what it is. I'll talk about it later. But first, I'm going to talk about the stuff with Hohenheim and Father. So, it I could be wrong, but so as we saw in episode 40 in the flask, the floating black ball figure that was father it you know it needed some kind of containment you know it at first it had the flask then it got a human body so it needs some kind of containment but it seems i it like he said it seems like he's evolved because you know hohenheim got him out of his body but he came out of the body and he had like his own kind of figure still so I'm guessing like the black figure the black ball figure that was in the flask eventually evolved to be able to make a body out of himself if that makes any kind of sense basically he evolved and what father said was actually pretty interesting so he he's one the best way I can describe it is like he's one with all the souls inside of his body. He's learned the name. He's talked to them. He's learned the names of every single soul that was put into his body. And so he's able to use, you know, his flot. He is a philosopher's stone. So he's able to use himself more. I don't know if I'd say more effectively than a father can, but he's definitely able to use himself very effectively, effectively because he's one with all the souls in his body versus father. He's never talked to any of the souls or anything. He just wanted the souls because he knew what that would do, you know, could uh, give him the philosopher's stone and everything. So, you know, but father, he, I mean, Hohenheim, he's one with all the souls. So the souls inside of father's body is, you know, pretty much fighting him. I'm guessing that's the reason when he shoved when he shoved his hand through Hohenheim, that's why he couldn't get the stone because the stones in or the, the soul the souls in Hohenheim's body were fighting against father and then also the souls inside of father's body as well were fighting against him too. So now father kinda has to face those souls inside of him, but like he said, he's been evolving, so it still seems I thought it was actually going to be pretty easy, especially when, you know, I uh, kept seeing the spikes go through Father. I, I was like, okay, well, I was expecting some, you know, two to three episode battle for this, but this seems like it's going to go down pretty easily. But not what I thought. He's been, you know, evolving and stuff, and so he doesn't need the body anymore. So it's still going to be a pretty good intense fight between Hohenheim and Father, but now Father has the souls inside of his own body fighting fighting against him. I only need to talk about this part of the episode and then I'll be good. Honestly, this part this part of the episode was probably one of my favorite scenes throughout the entire show. Mustang and Bradley's fights are just on another level. I'm serious. Bradley, like I said before, I know he's an antagonist. It's not that I'm rooting for him, but you cannot deny that it was freaking awesome as frick seeing him take on a tank. He dodged the bullets from a tank with his sword. He sliced a tank shell bullet with his sword. He cut the rotors of the wheels and stuff of the tank with his sword. Listen to how, listen to this. Listen to how this sounds. He took out a tank with his sword. I get it. He's a, Joe, he's a homunculus. I get, okay, I understand that. Still though, it, it still looked awesome. And it still was awesome. It, a, a, it's just a body took out a tank. That was freaking awesome. Again, I'm not rooting for him, but 
that was definitely one of my favorite scenes that I've seen in the entire show. That was just freaking incredible. And he single-handedly was, you know, gaining control of Central Command. But Greed showed up. Greed and Greeling. So I'm going to call him too. Greeling. Greeling showed up and... Uh, the second half of the episode is, you know, pretty much just them fighting because Greed and Ling both have a personal grudge against uh, the fear, so they both want him dead. The one dude, I don't remember his name, but he actually put up a pretty good fight. He, he is freaking tough. He got, you know, sliced through his head, got his arm chopped off. Even after that, he still put the uh, metal things, wrapped them around uh, his arm. Uh, what else happened? He got the sword put through him, and he didn't even. I thought that was it. I thought that was lights out. I I thought that was, I thought that was the final blow. But he's still up and kicking. Still up and kicking. That dude is freaking tough. And at the end, I don't remember his name either. But the granddad, the grandfather of Lanfon showed up, and now he's come face to face with Bradley who's the one who chopped off the arm of his granddaughter. So now he's pissed. This is about, you know it's going to be a good fight when, example, just two or three episodes back, uh, Mustang versus Envy. Mustang found out that Envy was the one who killed Hughes. You know it's going to be a good fight when, I don't know how to explain it, when, like, someone comes face to face with the person who did something to hurt the person that that other person cares about. And then the person, you know, is like, okay, you're the guy. You're the guy. You know is going to be a good fight. This was my reaction and review for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode 56. Let me know what you thought of the video down below in the comment section. Links from my social media will be down below in the description box. Matt, smash the like button, share this video with anyone you feel would enjoy. If you are new around here and you like what you see, tap the subscribe button to join the Mad Alliance on our journey to 100,000 subscribers, and ding dong the notification bell to be notified of when I upload a new video. My name is Joe, aka Mad Joe FC. I hope you all have a marvelous day. Mad out. Mad. Strong. Together.